Hello, my little friends. Now that we've added a terrain, we're going to paint the terrain. I mean, nobody wants a snow white terrain, right? Anyway, we're going to paint the terrain. So, pick up where we left off. I uh, have my hierarchy panel. I pick the terrain. And over here, I have my fourth button is a paintbrush. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to paint something. Add texture. Um, I don't have any textures yet, but that's just fine. I'm going to get some textures from the internet. Oh, internet, where are you? Let me bring the window over here so you can see it. <clears throat> um, let me see some rocks. And uh, we call this texture. So the internet knows what a texture is. Something that repeats without any edges. And let's say we pick some rocks like, um, how big is this? 400. Basically, I want to I want to set a size. I don't want this to be too big. Like 512 pixels wide is pretty good. Okay, we got some cartoony rocks. We got some dark rocks. Some dirt. I'll pick this one. 256 by 256. Click it. And right click Save As. <clears throat> trick here is I gotta find out where I put my project. So I know I saved my project in my little Unity folder. The name of my project was Day One. Now in the project there's these folders where I want to put this image that I'm downloading is in the Assets folder. And uh, I'm gonna click, uh, probably can't see this, let me get the window in there so you can see it. I'm gonna save it to the Assets folder. And while I'm here, I don't want to just draw rocks on my terrain. I probably want to also draw some grass. Let me get a grass texture, too. Grass texture. And here's just some grass. Which one do you guys like, huh? Ooh, this looks really grassy. Let's pick this one. And right-click, save as. You can pick any image you want. And it's going to remember where I was before, which is my project's called Day One. And here's the assets folder of that. And I'll save that there. Okay, now I'm done with the Google Chrome. And when I come back to my Unity program, you can see that since I put it in the assets folder, here in the project tab, you can see that it automatically, automatically picked up the two um, images that I added. So now I want to draw with those images. I want to draw on my terrain. So I click terrain again, and then in the inspector window, click the paint brush. And I have to add those textures so I can paint with them. I'm going to add the first texture by clicking Edit Textures button, and this pop up comes up. Okay. Select um, rocks. I'm going to make most of everything is going to be rocks first. I say Add. And as you can see, the first texture that gets added automatically just gets drawn all over the place. Now I'm going to add another texture, select grass, and add. And that one doesn't get drawn all over the place. That one I'm going to have to draw myself. But anyway, now in my textures little thing here, I got two textures. I got, I got my rocks and I got my grass. So I'm going to pick the grass now. And then I'm going to pick a brush to draw with. And I'm going to make sure that the brush has a size bigger than zero, and that it has a strength to draw with. Right now it's at 5.7, 6.2, whatever. Now here's my little blue. I'm going to draw some grass over here. And as you can see, it's drawing in. And maybe it's too big for me, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to go in there. And, you know, I could be as detailed as I want with drawing this grass. I can draw it everywhere I want to. Have fun. And the more effort you put in, the better it's going to look. You know, there you go. And I could also get more than two textures if I wanted to. But anyway, that's how I would add and start drawing some textures. And you see when I get really close, there. Looks nice. Um, everything's kind of shiny, doesn't it? I don't think that's realistic. <clears throat> Let me go to my light. Where is it that I get the quality of this here? 
Anyway, that's how you add the textures. I'll show you something in the next video. Bye.